good, YouTube? It's Bravo DP, man. Devontae Pesci, we back with another video, man. This is a cooking vlog, you feel me? Today, your boy, Chef Boy RDP, is hopping back in the kitchen. I know, I know, y'all miss me. It's cool, it's cool, because I'm finna put y'all on real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, I'll be back. <clears throat> Alright, my, my bad, I'm back, I'm back. But, uh... I had to hop in the shower, you feel me? But yeah, bro. So your boy, bro, bro, DP is back, man. I know, I know y'all miss me. I, I'm dropping keys. I, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't, I, I didn't mean to leave y'all in the dark like that. I don't like cooking all the time, you feel me? That's cap. I like cooking. It's just, I'm a, I, I get lazy, bro. But today we finna be making steak quesadillas, you feel me? Shout out to boy Pedro. My boy Pedro made sure that he gave me a couple ideas. He he been begging for me to make some more cooking vlogs. So I was like, you know what, man? I'm gonna give you what you want, you feel me? You feel me? I'm gonna give you what you want, bro, because you my dog. You know what I'm saying? You my dog. So, we gonna make some steak quesadillas, bro. Uh, and, and also shout out to his brother, Ariel Castanar, bro. That man, uh, I called him at the grocery store and he told me exactly uh, all the stuff that I was going to need. You feel me? So shout out, bro. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get in the kitchen, get this meat ready. You feel me? And then let's go ahead and get into the video. To the next clip. <clears throat> all right, y'all. Let's go get right into this, man. So first, you want to take your steak out, right? So I got a black Angus boneless uh, top round steak. You feel me? So, so how you want to season this thing, right? Let me go ahead and wash my hands off. So how you want to season this thing, right? You want to get your seasoning salt. Actually, we're not going to use this. We're going to use Lowry's. We're going to use the Lowry seasoning salt, right? Okay. Season the salt. Then you get you some lemon pepper. Uh, we're not going to use too much of that. Um, I don't. I I didn't really want to use Old Bay, but I think I might use it anyway. So Old Bay. We're gonna use a little bit, a little bit of seasoning salt, and then we are gonna get some garlic salt up in there. All right. So we're gonna do everything on both sides, except for the lemon pepper and except for the seasoning salt. I mean the um, the uh, sea salt, right? So let's get right into it. So you get your. I just bought this. Oh dang, ain't no little stick on find that. So I just bought the seasoning salt. All right. So this fresh, fresh out the store, you feel me? I just went grocery shopping, bro. But me being a clown that I am, bro, I forgot the damn peppers, bro. The green, red peppers. And um, I thought about it and I was like, do I want to put, um, do I want to put any like onions in this? And I was like, nah, I'm probably not going to use no onions. I don't, I don't think that, I don't think I want that vibe. I think I'm just going to go straight for the basic steak quesadilla. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? And I got a special type of cheese uh, that my homie Ariel, he hooked me up with. So it is going to have a little, a little like type of different type of flavor to it because it's like a, it's like a regular white type. It's a white mozzarella type cheese, I think. And it has a little kick on it because it's going to have like jalapeno in it. I'm going to go ahead and show that to y'all later. Right? So make sure you get your seasoned salt up in there. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and throw the sea salt on this side. Not too much. You're gonna see how I do this. I put this in my hand, right? And then I sprinkle it. I sprinkle it. I sprinkle it, right? Because you don't want a lot of that. You don't want a lot of that. Okay? All right? Then, let me go ahead. What else do I want? I want this lemon pepper. You're gonna put lemon pepper on one side. All right, one side, y'all. One side, y'all. Then we're gonna get your garlic salt. Go ahead, and put that. I don't know, man. Do I put the obey on that? I don't know if I want to put the obey on that, man. I don't know, man. All right. So now you want to go ahead, and make sure that that season is all up in the meat. Push it down up in there. Make sure all the little grains are in the meat. You know what I'm saying? Bang, bang, bop, bop, pow, pow, shoot, shoot. You feel me? Make sure everything all good. Flip that thing, right? Do the same thing. We're not going to put lemon pepper on this side. We're not going to put sea salt on this side, right? Then go ahead and go garlic salt. OK. 
Okay. Get you some garlic salt. Get you some seasoned salt. Okay. Some seasoned salt. Go ahead and get that all up in there. Throw a little more seasoned salt on that. Okay. Because when I cook it, all that seasoning is going to fall off, off of it anyway. You know what I mean? So, make sure that all that seasoning is up in there. Um, I guess I'll throw some Old Bay in there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of Old Bay. Just a little bit of Old Bay. But not a lot. Not a lot. You don't need a lot. Okay. Smells good, too. I think, I think, that, I think that's cool, though. It's a little bit of Old Bay. It can't hurt, right? Let me go ahead... There's one more thing I want to get. I don't know how I got this. Do we have any? Uh, onion powder. Yes, onion powder. You feel me? Throw a little bit of onion powder on there. It's kind of a lot in that one spot. You feel me? Make sure that that's in there. Right? Make sure all them grains up in there. Make sure that your grains get up in there. Um, Usually what I would do is I would season it, then put it in the refrigerator, let it sit for like a good, what, 20 minutes. Or if I decided that I was going to cook something earlier, you feel me, I would go ahead and just keep it in there overnight. Uh, probably with like a little bit of either foil on top or like some type of plastic wrap on top. But for this, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and just do it like this, you know what I mean? It, it, it'll be all right. You feel me? When, when you cook with Chef Boy RDP, man, no matter what it is, it's going to taste good, right? So you, I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it at all. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that's all up in there. All right? Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to get the pan that I'm going to use, right? So I'm going to use this pan. Okay? It's, it's a non-stick pan. It's really good for meats like this, okay? We're going to go ahead and put that up in there. Okay? Just like that, right? Let me go ahead and move this out the way. Okay. All right? Now we got the pan. Okay? Gonna get a little bit more season salt, just a little bit, just so it's in the pan, right? Then, um, what else? What else to do? Then we're gonna get Jack Daniels. All right. Now, when y'all cook with the boy, with the Chef Boy RDP, we gotta put alcohol in every dish, bro. Every single dish. So this is what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna set that down for a second. You're going to get some water, just a little bit of water, not too much, okay, okay, we're going to get that in there, not too much, right, not too much, you just want to make sure that that meat stays um, moisturized, you feel me, it has that little tenderness to it, right, then we get the Jack Daniels, put a lot of that up in there, yep, Put a lot of that up in there, okay? Make sure that that gets around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Stop playing with me, man. Now, what we want to do is we want to sit this in the oven for like a good 15 to 20 minutes, all right? So, when that's done, um, let me, don't don't forget, don't forget here. Let me go ahead and pick up, uh, let me go ahead and pick up the camera. Uh, we're going to set, my bad. So, we're going to go ahead, put this meat up in the stove for a good 15 to about 20 minutes, right? Let me go ahead and get over here. All right, we're gonna put the oven on 350, okay? Bear with me, bear with me. Y'all gonna see why I did this. All right, go ahead and put it up in there, right? So, probably at, I don't know, like the six minute, seven minute mark, y'all can't even see me. Probably at the six minute, seven minute mark, we're gonna go ahead and flip the meat and then let it sit in there for the rest of the time, all right? So when that happens, I'm gonna get right back to y'all, all right? All right, y'all, so I just took it out the oven, right? This is how it's supposed to look, okay? This is how it's supposed to look out the oven, right? Now we're gonna do a little bit of a stove top type thing, all right? 
All right, y'all. So just took it out the oven. Now we're gonna put it on the stove top. Okay? So this side got a little bit more brown than the other side, but either way, I was gonna put it on stove top um, in the first place. Okay? All right, you guys. It's been it's been about seven eight minutes, right? So now I'm gonna get this steak, okay? And then I'm gonna flip it, all right? Give it a little flip, man. It smells amazing, bro. I wish y'all could smell this, bro. It smells really, really good. Okay. So now we flip it. Uh, hold on. Okay. Yep. Y'all see that little brown to it? I don't know if y'all can see that. Yep. All right, man. I'm going to get right back to y'all, all right? All right, y'all. So I took the steak off the stove top, left it on there for a good 20 minutes, right? Okay, cool. Remember I put that Jack Daniels, the steak absorbed just about all that Jack Daniels in the um, pot that I had on the stove top. So now what we want to do is we want to cut it up into super small pieces. Okay, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that, it wasn't that hard to cut, man. Y'all want to see some magic? Watch this. All right, bet. You feel me? So now we got it. We got little strips. I'm going to do one little. Here, let me see. Look at this, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at that. The lighting is kind of bad, but bro, that is cooked perfectly. That is exactly what I wanted, bro. And it tastes even better. God damn. Your boy is saucy in the, in the in the kitchen, bro. Somebody wipe me up, please. Or well, not wipe me up, bro. Somebody cuff me up, please, bro. Your boy, your boy is is saucy when it comes to the cooking. All right, go ahead. Get a little another one. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now, I'm gonna do one little cut down the middle of the strips okay y'all can cut it however y'all want this is just how i'm gonna cut mine mm-hmm yeah hey, good as here all right now let me get a bowl find me a little bowl all right you want to put all this meat in the bowl Okay. Oh, this came out perfect. This is exactly how I wanted it to come out. Yes. Man. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just quit YouTube and just be a damn chef. At this point. Alright. Put y'all steak. Put y'all steak to the side, right? Let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, now I got these flour shells. Okay. Super soft, right? Can y'all see that? But I put a little bit of butter on the bottom of the pan. Um, just so like it, you know, prevent it from sticking. Stuff like that, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this. I'm going to put that on top of the butter in the pan all right then i'm gonna get my cheese all right now shout out shout out to my boy ariel you feel me uh pedro and ariel are brothers and uh i call ariel because i knew that he he knew what he was talking about when it came to uh, case it is and I, I asked him what kind of shells should I get and what kind of cheese should I get. So he hooked me up with the shells and he hooked me up with the cheese. Uh, I chose to do the uh, jalapeno cheese. You know I mean? So I like I just like that extra kick. You know what I mean? So I got the cheese. Right? I'm going to spread that. Spread that. You feel me? I'm a cheese man. Come on. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. I'm a cheese man. I'm a cheese man. Right? You're going to put a lot of that in there. Now, make sure when you put the cheese on there, you get that cheese on the edge so that it can, you feel me, seal up the way that you want it to. 
All right. Let me go ahead and get this uh, burner going. Okay. okay. I got the burner going, right? So make sure you get the cheese on the edge, right? Then you obviously get some in the middle. And then you get your meat. You feel me? Put your little strips in there. Spread them out. Spread them out how you want them to be spread. Yup, yup, yup. Bro, that is good. I don't know, man. That looks good. Um, that should be cool right there. Alright. Put that back to the side. Alright, so I got the cheese on there. Now, we're going to grab the other tortilla shell. And we're going to go ahead and put that right on top. Alright, let's go ahead and move over to the stove top. Alright, y'all. So, I got, got my tortilla on the little stove top. Cheese is starting to melt. I want to wait till the tortilla gets a little brown on the side that's down. Okay. Okay, bet. So I flipped it, right? Now I'm trying to get the cheese to melt on there so that when I flip it again, that it, the tortilla doesn't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? The shell doesn't really go anywhere. Um, and it just makes it easier for me. It just makes my job easier. All right. So once it starts getting brown, I'm going to uh, flip it again and then I'm going to cut it open for y'all. And then we're going to see how it looks on the inside, man. So I just go in ahead and flip this, man. Um, it's, it got brown on this side. I just flipped it. So I'm waiting for the other side to get flipped. And then I'm going to go ahead, put it on the plate, cut it up. And then we're going to see the masterpiece that your boy, Chef Boy RDP, then cooked up. You feel me? Bro, I I, I don't know if y'all ready for this, bro. Are y'all Are y'all ready for this right now? All right, hold on. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead. Let me, let me, let me get right, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that, Chris? Bro, stop playing with me, man. Bro. Bro, y'all gonna keep playing with my name like I ain't Chef Boy RDP, man. Like I ain't goaded, bro. Like I don't do this, man. Come on, bro. Let's get right. Let's get right. Come on. Let's get right. This thing hot, bro. Feel me? Come on. Let's see what we rocking with. Come on, bro. My name is my name, bro. Remember that. Bro, do y'all see that steam right there, boy? Come on, bro. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is a masterpiece right there, bro. Stop playing with me. Hold on, bro. Come on. Come on, man. Look. Look. Look at me. Look at me, bro. Let me put the light on this. Look at me. Look at me. Come on, man. My, bro, my name is my name, bro. Look. Look at me. Bro, hold on. My name. My name is my name, bro. 
Look at me in my eye, bro, when I tell you that, bro. Look at me. Look at me in my eye, bro. My name is my fucking name, bro. Let's get to the next clip, bro. No, it's not Kool-Aid. My name is my name. My name is my name. So when I tell you my name, you better listen up, bro. That's one of the best things I ever made for myself, man. And I made some good food in the past. There's nothing else to say. There's nothing else, bro. It ain't, there's nothing else for me to say, bro. Uh, Appreciate y'all for watching the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, bro. So always remember to stay blessed and be humble, man. Salute.